scheduled to continue to 2013. The F-A-22 is an Air Force pilot's dream. But there are planes on the horizon that may be more like a pilot's nightmare because these aircraft have no pilots. The F-15 Eagle can climb at more than 40,000 feet per minute. That's sea level to the top of Mount Everest in 45 seconds. Extreme aircraft will return on Modern Marvels. The Global Hawk spy plane points the way to what some believe will be a pilotless future. This UAV, or unmanned air vehicle, was seen in action by millions thanks to TV news coverage of its surveillance missions in Afghanistan and Iraq. The Global Hawk can conduct effective surveillance over an area the size of Illinois in just 24 hours. It can also loiter above a specific area, transmitting almost real-time high-resolution images to field commanders. 44 feet long and 15 feet high, the High Altitude Reconnaissance Aircraft was built for the Air Force by Northrop Grumman. Global Hawk is an autonomous air vehicle. Uh, for instance, uh, when Global Hawk uh, did a deployment to Australia, the Global Hawk left California with a click of the mouse. Uh, it is fully autonomous and then it uh, flew across the Pacific Ocean and landed in Australia some 20 odd hours later uh, at which time somebody clicked the mouse again and shut the engine down on the system. With its range of more than 14,000 miles and an ability to fly for 36 hours straight, it can travel to any point on the globe, conduct surveillance, and return to its base in the United States, all without a pilot. The Air Force rushed the Global Hawk into combat ahead of schedule in Afghanistan in November of 2001, and it was also used in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Although it flew only 5% of the surveillance missions over Iraq, it accounted for more than 55% of the information on time-sensitive targets, many of which were destroyed. After collecting more than 3,700 images over Iraq, the Hawk returned home in May of 2003. Air Force officials said the Global Hawk was over Iraq from the very beginning of the operation and had a direct impact.